Hey guys, Will here and welcome to a special edition of Conversion Corner where we've got not one but five vehicles for you. Um, these are Sam's Orc Trucks and Battle Wagon. You may have seen them in some of the bat reps on the channel before but they are some really nice conversions and I want to put them all up in a Conversion Corner so you get a closer look um, and see what's what. So yeah, here's the first one and you might be able to recognise it's based on a Torox. Sorry about the shaking there. An Imperial Guard Torox. Um, and he's cobbled some truck bits onto that. So we've got a truck front, front plate here, engine components, wheels, a bit of uh, the front stuck on the cab there. Um, but you've still got the Torox wheels and base chassis with the rear replaced with an Orc truck. So it's a really nice... Uh, simple conversion. I think a lot of people when they saw the Torox thought it'd make a great Orc truck and uh, Sam's really gone ahead and done the job on this very nicely. Um, as you can see it looks really Orky. You'd have no trouble working out what this counts as but at the same time you can see it's still originally a Torox. Mm. Ne That's because it uses most of the Torox parts. To actually build it, um, as you see under here, it's all Torox so when you put the torus together, before you put the roof bit on here at the back, you cut this flat because this is generally extends out. You cut it flat and just put that cab on it, make sure it just sits flush, and that's pretty much how it sits. And then just replace the wheels. The engine cab you can do closed, but you know I just wanted to put the engine from the truck in there. So it's a piece of piss to do. <laughs> nice one. Now the next one is a very elaborate one. Now, this is actually based off a Dark Angel vehicle, if I remember correctly. Like to be the Storm. I think it's called. No, I don't know. The Storm's the Scout one. The is it the Storm? Vengeance. Vengeance. Land, Land Speed of Vengeance. Vengeance, yeah. So you can see it's still got the uh, the jets here from the Land Speeder. And this guy, where he should have been like a, a gunner in a reliquary, is now an orc sitting in a gun pit. And we've got an orc pilot there. Um, and then a truck section on the back here. And loads of orc glyphs to really orcify it up. Orc battering ram, orc truck wheels. Um, but again, a really nice conversion. You can see what it used to be, but it's most definitely an orc truck now. These Death Skulls will do anything, even uh, even land speeders, to make into their trucks. I so say this one actually was really easy to do, though it looks really like orky. Um, you literally just you get the front round from the truck hit there, just glued it on. Those guys uh, are just the truck driver and gunner from the uh, orc truck hit, and they replace perfectly. Um, for that, and this you just you smooth down the top of the land speeder storm, where the plasma cannon should sit. It has a um, a turny spot where you can clip it in. You just smooth that down, and then that cab fits on there fine. Um, the underneath is a little bit more complicated. If I show you, um, so I use the truck base, the uh, what are they called, the just the general under sort of chassis of the truck and it just it's sort of glued in there you have to trim a bit of the excess off but it kind of just sits in there nicely so yeah and that's him and extra glyphs on the imperial parts to get rid of the imperial emblems so yeah that's it excellent now number three here is an old classic based on a space marine rhino um having a look here you can see we've got some battle wagon components the horns on the front from the battle wagon and this side door is part of the battle wagon cab and then we've got the um, truck engine components here. If you look inside there, you can see there's um, the rear floor from an orc truck. Uh, ignore my dog there, she's uh, just getting a bit excited. Um, you can see the floor's been replaced with orc truck components. And again, we've just got lots of, lots of nice glyphs here to orcify it. And an orc gunner sticking out the top there with his big shooter in place of a storm bolter. Because quite frankly, why have a storm bolter when you could have a big shooter? Mm. Yeah, so that one was just really simple. It was an old Chaos Rhino, um, hence all the green stuff works. It was Nurgle. Oh. So I resprayed, repainted it, and then I just clipped the top out and the back door off. And nice obviously one. replaced that floor with the truck, um, which I just cut the shape and slide in. <laughs> Excellent. Now, the last one is one of the least likely vehicles you'd expect to become an orc truck, but it somehow works. This is a Dark Eldar Raider. Uh, what I can see here, we've got some Torox wheels at the back and truck wheels at the front. Um, orc gunner in the front and then an orc truck driver. 
in the back there in like a command throne position which uh, works surprisingly well and the center point here is the transport and again you know this doesn't look out of place in an orc army despite it obviously being a dark eldar vehicle um it it works fine What's this component you've got on the side there? Uh, that is the... You remember when I told you you're cutting off the, the back end of the tower rocks? Oh, yeah. That is that. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's part of the rear door of the tower rocks. Um, and how about the wheel attachments on here? What have we got um, under there? Just standard orc truck attachment. Getting the tower rocks tracks to get on the wheel there took some trimming and chopping and persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so this one is my most frequently falling apart truck, <laughs> mm -hmm. but it worked well enough. I mean, it was an old Dark Elder Raider that sort of just fallen to bits. So I got rid of the sail and just replaced the two drivers and put this uh, shoulder pad over that gap. Yep. And then some extra glyphs and it went together nicely. Nice. And the final one in the line isn't a truck, but a whole battle wagon. Now, as you can see here, the front is obviously a Lehman Russ battle tank. And that rear component, unless I'm very much mistaken, is an Orc Battle Wagon rear section. Yes. So, um, how have you joined those two together? Right, there? now that was, this is the hard part. So I built the Battle Wagon up just as the bat, um, Lean Russ has Lean Russ. Stuck the extra bits on. I mean, if you see at the front here, I covered up the heavy bottle with this glyph here. Mm -hmm. Put some extra grenades on the back. I was going to, I'm thinking still, at some point I'm going to paint these red. So you can see them. And then that there extra bits actually if I lift it up um, raises the turret but that's the top to the bat wagon yeah. like the top cab you still put on top and then of course extra horns and extra piping now this cab is just the bat wagon rear so to join it I literally got the boarding ramps so if you look here oh, that yes. is a boarding ramp from the orc truck kit so I've got two of those and one on the underside here and one the other way up on that side, mm -hmm. which you can see just poking out there. Uh, I'll get yeah. mm -hmm. So there oh, it is. I see it, yeah. Uh, stuck a orc wheel between them to mm -hmm. bridge the gap, and then just covered it up on either side with like extra painting. I mean, this is the side of the battle wagon, um, this pipe. I don't know where it came from, but I found it and stuck it there um, with this bit to connect to. And it's pretty much the same underneath as well. There's this side of the battle wagon again just to cover up some of the gaps and make it a little bit more sturdy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's a really nice model. Um, and uh, this whole whole lot together works really nicely with the Death Skull theme of your army. Although it wasn't the Death Skull clan that originally inspired this idea, was it? It was a film. Oh, Mad Max Fury Road, yes. Um, that That's pretty much, I just went, oh, I'm just going to do that. Um, spent pretty much every time I bought a truck. I just bought a different vehicle from Games Workshop's line, and uh, <laughs> just smashed it apart. I mean, each truck's like forty odd quid, so it's expensive to do it, um, but it looks amazing. <laughs> it's so yeah. unique. I say they're a really nice, unique army here, and they attract a lot of attention down the gaming club whenever you get them out. So I hope you guys like this video, and uh, join us soon for more Conversion Corner.